a symbol of enduring love. A promise from the Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan to his dying wife Mumtaz. It took more than 20,000 workers 22 years to finish. And now, four centuries on, retired postmaster Fazul Hassan Qadri is building his own version in memory of his wife of 58 years. You see, my wife and I were childless, so she always used to say, after we are dead, there will be nobody to remember us. We will be forgotten. So I promised her that if she were to die before me, I would build such a beautiful mausoleum for her that people would remember her for ages. His wife passed away due to cancer in December 2011. Her name was Tajamuli Begum and she was only 14 when she married Mr. Qadri. We were together for more than 58 years. Love grows with time. Now that she's gone, she's always there in my thoughts. I have left space for my own grave right next to hers. The perfectly shaped dome and the beautiful minarets may already be in place. But the landscape, gardens, the white marble exteriors and the latticed windows all still remain to be done. Mr. Qadri is running out of money, but he's also refusing all offers of help. Mr. Qadri sold a piece of his farmland, his wife's jewellery, and used up all his savings to meet the spiralling cost of construction. He has already spent more than $15,000 and says he needs at least 10000 more to complete the project. He doesn't accept that the money could have been put to better use. Mr. Qadri's Taj Mahal may not make it to the history books, but this small community will always remember him as a man who kept his promise to his wife. Suhail Halim, BBC News, Uttar Pradesh.